here. The idea of using twins and measure the authoritative dead factor as when the English scientists first suggested the approach and coined the phrase nature and nurture. But twin studies, we don't need this one. So here Mutte, under Kuntalcha, we are getting better. So okay, whatever now we look forward. Voucher. As a voucher, uh where's that? Uh, the Thomas in what became the age is a duijon. You know, they're talking about two twins, you know, who lived apart. Apart. Numerous tests were carried out as a voucher and his colleagues used this mount of data to identify how part twins were affected by their genetic makeup. The key to their approach was to sign up complete heritability. The heredity of a Talija Kunta, which one, what do you think? We are looking for, uh, we are looking for voucher. Uh, the key to our approach was the statistical concept for the in broad terms of a trade measures to extend to which difference among can be explained by different And whatever vouchers are not. Uh, do you find anything here? Uh, do, you, do you find anything? Uh, can we read it? Kunta Kazakati expressed the view that the study of epidemiology will increase in the knowledge. It will be developed a mathematical method. Nabudai pioneered research in genetic twins and carried out research on two who had lived apart. Nine, maybe then, sir. Carried out the research into. I know this time. I believe I've heard. Eta Kunta, sir. I think B. Thomas. Yeah. Uh, so we are done with five. We are done with seven. We are done with nine. As a account here, so Daniel, mm -hmm. we haven't covered it. As a yet the ironic Probably. bullet. Say. So uh, there, there could be more. Dale uh, say. Okay. Can we read more? Can we look for? Uh, Difference is whenever another center is they found uh, they took the approach of statistical concept of the bottom. So it as a, can be explained at the top of name as a eight target the kitty. Jedrick has worked with many twins over the years and thought deeply about the twin studies that they have taught us. It's very clear when you look at twins that much of what they share is. Hardware. She says many things about them are absolutely same and unalterable. But it's also clear as when you get to know them that other things about them are different. As epigenetic is the origin of a lot of those differences in my view. That's it. Do you find anything? Any any answer? Any answer? Sir, it will say number six. Contaminate, sir? Number six. Number six. I express the view that study will increase our knowledge. Can we say uh, number eight, seven, four, Thomas? Because he is, um, he is working about statistics. Uh, where is that? What was that? Uh, okay, it, 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 the second page. Huh? Genetics, uh, what uh, things about us are the same. Uh, as a twin, have, when you look at how much they share, is hardware. Many things about them are absolutely the same and unalterable, but it's that when you get to the other things about it, is the origin of lots of differences. Uh, Daniel Reed. Oh, sir, Reed, I can it to us. The latest is a to take our understanding even further, but even further is their connection. Yeah. What I like to say is that nature writes some things in pencil. He says that the written pen can change as that DNA, but things written in pencil can be safely. And now that is uh, actually able as the DNA and see. Okay, so which one? Which one? Where can we find? Number six. Number Go six. Read. Acha, eight is six. Six kit they can bullet, sir. What they have said, six. You see, develop a data. Express the view that the study will increase in our knowledge. Yeah. Acha, eight a kotha, sir. 
So we found the it well. The, the last paragraph. A jagat. Uh, so what about uh, the last paragraph? What about the other one? Um, the, we are left with? Well. That's a seven. We are left with seven. Uh, let's see. Let's see the says. Seven. Seven is develop a mathematical method of measuring density. Why well, did they mention anything about mathematical? We can use uh, mathematics for statics. Uh, in, in which? Uh, in which uh, Thomas Balcher. Balch no. Thomas Balcher. One page. One page and last one paragraph. Page. I think. Okay. 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 So this is the second. Okay. Uh, what Boucher and his colleagues use mountain of data identify as liquid was a statistical concept. Okay. Yeah. Here the main word is what? I think statistical concept, mathematical. <laughs> a mathematical, you see? Then what? Mm -hmm. Then probably we are going for data. We are going for what? Luchan. Aja, again, mathematics. So, ito, ito, gallo. So, this one, I think six goes with what? Voucher, huh? Thomas Voucher. So, the ito. Yes. Again, yes. Abar, yeah, B. It ever B. Six goes with Daniel Reed, sir. Which one? Six. Six goes with Daniel Reed, seven. Yeah, goes seven, with seven Thomas goes Boucher. Thomas Voucher. Okay, yes, six yes. goes with, okay, fine. So, we have found it. When we first set the cake, take the put it to Lashley, hobby in a one by one, one by one. Because don't look for it randomly, it doesn't help. Whenever we are doing the first one or the second one, by that time, or even third one, we should also, the Nangulo, we should find out the names. Other than that, later on, it takes lots of time, you know, to find the names. Okay, the last one, let's see this one, what's that? Oh no, we are done with that? Yes, we are done with that. So it's about all about process. They, all the answers are there, but you have to be, you know, the more you practice, you become family. You know where, from where to start and how does it work. Good job. Sometimes a technical word gets problem. I mean, uh, you know, uh, if it's not no. related to- My point is, my point is you have to be such that all the easy ones you get, can get through. The difficult one, you never know. You know, sometimes. What if you also have problem with the easy one? That doesn't make sense. Uh, a uh, yes, no, not given, bolen. Yeah. Author by heading, bolen. Author by which paragraph. Egulo. Jeshta koren jate. At the full markers. Start for, you know, all the difficult ones. If you, if you fail the difficult ones, you can't help it. But that has been the case. Huh? That has been the case for many years. Okay, we are done with this one. Amra tahale ek to yeta korte jacche. Amra what we want to do? Uh, we can uh, we can check some. Uh, so we can we can read uh, uh, essay essay as well, huh? I'm a task to actor. I'm like the essay to the company, huh? Task to big men. Like a key deck men. Abra? Task one? Task one or task, task two? one? Task one. Task one. Ah, sir. The task one. Task one and key counter. Which one? Which one will be better? Sir, uh, you could have the yellow. Pie chart. Ah, it's a pie chart. That's a pie chart. Why pie don't chart you go or to? bar chart? Or... Okay, fine. A pie and bar. Let's move on. I can just read it quickly. So, yet it like it's not bad, you know. Jack, I can even take some okay. Jackie J A C K Y Jackie eyes. You know, it doesn't have to be a uh, what pie, no? Let's let's talk about pie. Okay, here. So process diagram. Uh, can we also discuss about process diagram? Uh, process diagram. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Why don't you do this one? Because we have very shallow knowledge in process diagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay. So we'll be we'll be doing this one. Okay, so let's let's check this out. Huh? How to write a process diagram? Huh? What are the process diagram? These are the process diagram. What if you get one of these? What uh, what you are going to do? Uh, these these are all process diagram. Uh, these are all the process diagram. Okay, let's start. Let's see. Listen, this really doesn't matter from where you are going to study, and this is pretty pretty good. This one. You know, I have faith in this one. It's a very straightforward. If you want to read, you can read from many places. There's no problem with that, but you'll have to get the basic understanding right. Then move on to the, you know, other places. Even if you ask me, if you uh, ask me for more materials, I can also give you more materials. Just ask me. A nice process diagram question can contain a wide variety of different types of graphics. It could be a natural process such as water cycle, manufacturing process or a diagram or a system. Using this five step will help you to write a high scoring process diagram. Uh, just a moment. Okay. So what you'll have to analyze the question first, then identify the main features, write an introduction, write an overview, write the detail. These are the, you know, these are the must-do stuffs. In this lesson, we are going to work through five stages, step by step. Let's see. Before we begin, here is a model essay structure that you can use as a guideline to all eyes academic. That's one. You know, all means we have line graph, we have bar chart, we have pie chart, all this. Ideally, your essay should have four paragraphs. Paragraph one, introduction, paragraph two, Overview, paragraph three is first main feature. Paragraph four is second main feature. Huh? So basically four paragraphs. Introduction, overview must be there. First, it's better to write two paragraphs. So it shows that you have control. Uh, we now have everything we need to begin planning and writing our eyes process diagram. Oh, so we don't have to put the conclusion in there. No, no, there's no conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes what happens if you're not writing the overview, you can, you can write it in the later do it as a as a, as a conclusion to conclude like that but in fact they don't want a conclusion because conclusion means you are giving your assessment uh, your your view but here there's no no reason to give that you are just describing something in essay what happens you write the essay you develop the ideas but here it's already given we now have everything we need to begin planning at the essay so AJ, ata we'll we'll check out this one the diagram below shows the structure that is used to generate electricity from wave power. As I summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main issue features and make comparison where relevant. Write at least 150 words. Generating electricity from the sea. Generating electricity from the sea. So we have two, you know, here. So what can we understand from here? What can we understand? You know, here. Is there anything you can understand? If uh, air come, uh, wave is go, and uh, electric is not, we don't have electrics like this. Okay, um, what, okay uh, what's happening here? Say the, the wave is coming, huh? The yes, wave is uh, coming. Wave, oh, oh, I see. The wave yeah, is coming and it's it the air. And air go to. Uh, Air go there and, and the turbine. Okay. Is uh, turn it and electrics come. Okay, okay. There is a chamber. If you have the chamber, you know that pressure it created. So air goes there and this one moves and this one. Okay. Yeah. And here, you know, it a you know, tide, you know, tide and ebb. It's yeah. during the tide and this is the ebb. So here, what happens? There is a reverse. I think there is a reverse comes. pressure. Okay, reverse yes. pro process. Okay, clip for C wall, C wall. Fine, we understand that. So it's a two-way process. Huh? While it's coming, it's also you know generating. While it's going out, 
I believe it's also creating. Let's see. Now analyze the question. The format of every academic task one question is the same with the instruction sentence highlighted below, identical in every question. Here is our practice question again. The diagrams below show a structure that is used to generate electricity from wave power. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparison where relevant. That's the summarize the information by selecting and reporting main features. Okay. Listen, you'll have to understand. You'll have to give the answers here. You see? So whatever they're asking, summarize. You'll have to summarize. If you write everything, no, they're not happy. The information by selecting and reporting the main features. So they want to see whether you can select what the most important aspects and make comparison where relevant. Every question as a consist of one sentence, the brief description of the graphic, the instructions, and diagrams, chart. Okay, these are the three things. Sentence two tells you that this is the first every time. Select the main features, write about the main features, and compare the main features. Write about the main features and compare. You'll have to do everything, not you can't leave out anything. All three tasks refer to the main features of the graphic. You do not as I have to write about everything, just pick out two or three key features and you'll have plenty to write about as all three tasks refer to the main features as they find. Let's see, identify the main feature. What are the main features in that picture? The graphic in Niles process diagram question should not be difficult to understand. There are not usually any number of, uh, there are not usually any numbers to analyze as in other types of questions, just a diagram to interpret. Or as in our practice question, two diagrams which each show part of the process. All you are looking for are the main features. As a, these should be the easiest things to spot. There will be lots of information in the graphic to help you identify them, especially titles, labels, and captions. There will be lots of information in the graphic to help you identify them, especially titles. Okay, here are some useful questions to ask. Is it a linear or cy cyclical process? Cyclical means whether it's in a start again, again, it finish again, or it's just one, one, two, three, four, it finishes, then, okay, so let's see. A linear process starts and finishes at different places. It will often involve the manufacture or creation of something, starting with the raw materials going in at one end and the finished product coming out on this. So this is what? Linear. An example of this can be seen in the diagram for a pass as process diagram question about the manufacture of bricks. They're saying that this is linear. This is not this is not a circular process. Linear is this one, this one, and you are done. And again, the process starts. A cyclical process, on the other hand, is a process that goes back to the beginning and repeats over and over, such as this life cycle of a frog or a butterfly. You see, it's an egg, and it goes, and from egg, you again get the, what, the eggs. So this is cyclical. Okay, what about where does the process start and end? For a linear process, this will usually be obvious. It may be harder to determine for a cyclical process. But where does the process start and end? It's always better to write that. For a linear process, this will usually be obvious. It may be harder to determine for a cyclical process. So it's important that you examine the graphic carefully to find out. How many steps are there to the process? Is there a lot? It can be helpful to number them from one to whatever number the final stage is. Can the process be easily broken down into stages? In the brick making graphic, for example, there are three stages. Treating the brick from clay, manufacturing the finished product by drying and firing and packaging and basically there are you know, three steps. And those are kind of independent. In the life cycle graphic above, there are also three distinct stages. As the, frog, as the frog passes through different stages, that's it. You can have three distinct answer. There are also three distinct stages as the frog passes. That's it. So that was very clear. What are the raw materials? What is produced at the end of the process? This, this question, this question obviously, apply only to the manufacturing. 
uh, only to the uh, manufacturing process. For other types of process, it might be more appropriate to ask the following question. What is the end result of the process? This question is relevant to our practice. Ice process diagram question, which shows a process that creates something using a particular structure. The end result is the production of electricity. Now, so what main features stand out in these? So what, what are the main features? What is the main feature? What they're doing? Generating electricity from the sea. This is the heading. Now, this graphic does, doesn't contain very much details. There are only two stages to process. Electricity is generated as the wave flows into the structure. Electricity also created as the receding wave draws air back down the column. So this is A, this is B. This is going up and the S going down and you are producing electricity. Okay, now, fine. So how do you write? This is the stages. Other diagrams are more complex and you have to go through them stage by stage to work out what's happening and then pick up, pick out just two or three main features to write about. The key features are you select will be the starting point for your essay. You will then go on to add more detail later. However, with just 20 minutes allowed for task one and a requirement of only 150 words, you won't be able to include many details. We are now ready to begin writing our essay. Here is a reminder of the four part structure we are going to use. Paragraph one, introduction. Paragraph two, overview. Paragraph three, as a first main feature. And paragraph four, uh, second main feature. Okay, so this is the basic structure. Let's see how we can write. Write an introduction. You, you put what this information, huh? this one, introduction. But you can copy that. What you can do, you can paraphrase that. So in the introduction, you should simply paraphrase the question. That is, say the same thing in a different way. You can do this by using synonyms and changing the sentence structure. For example, question. The diagram below show a structure that is used to generate electricity from wave power. So introduction from this was the question. And how can you write? Two diagrams illustrate a method of creating electricity from the force of wave using a specifically designed man-made construction. So someone has paraphrased it in his or her own way. No problem with that. This is all you need to do for the introduction. Now what we do? We usually move on to what? We usually move on to the overview. And this is the overview. Overview, you must write the overview. If you don't write the overview, what? You don't get good marks. Because you don't know the main idea, what stands out, you know. In the second paragraph, you should. So instead it. of uh, using diagram, can we use pictogram? Is it similar pictogram? Pictogram. Uh, I, I haven't seen it that much. Most of the cases, diagram. It could be, could be. You know, you might find it somewhere, but I, I can't recall. Pictogram is not very common, and it really doesn't make much of a difference. You get my point? In these cases, it doesn't make much of a difference. Whether you write pictogram or they will they will consider this state. Okay, so state the information simply using synonyms where possible. No elaborate vocabulary or grammar structure required, just the appropriate word and correct verb sentence. Tenses. The structure consisting of wave chamber and a tall column containing a turbine is erected on a steeply sloping coastal cliff or sea wall where it is subject to the movement of the ocean. So here, overview, this structure consisting of a wave chamber and a tall is erected on a steeply sloping coastal sea, a cliff or sea where subject to this one. Okay, so they describe the structure. Overview, uh, steeply. Okay. Uh, did they mention, you know, whether they, Oh, here we have mentioned that electricity is designed. Huh? Okay. And second, we are talking about induction. Listen, uh, I can provide you with many samples. Huh? If you give the exam, just ask me. That will help you. Once you understand these details, then if you contact me, then I might give you samples, good samples huh? together. So if you keep on reading that, you'll see that you are 
improving. Step five, what the first detailed paragraph? Paragraph three and four of your ice process diagram essay are where you include more detailed information. Three and four, in paragraph three, you should explain the first key feature in more detail. For this question, uh, we will expand on the first stage of the process. Here it is again. Electricity is generated as the wave flows into the structure, the diagram A. And this is an example of what you could write. The first diagram shows how the incoming wall fills a large chamber and forces the air inside the space up the column and through the turbine. The pressure of the air rotates the turbine which generates a current of electricity. The process does not end. Therefore, the structure is able to continue producing power as the C receives as can be seen in the second diagram. The pressure here comparing, you see, they ask you to compare as well. The first diagram, let's read it again, shows how the incoming wave fills a large chamber and forces the air into this space up the column and through the turbine. The pressure of the air rotates the turbine which generates a current of electricity. The process does not end there for the structure is able to continue producing power as the C receives as can be seen. What about the second detail? The fourth and the final paragraph, you do the same thing for your remaining key features or for this second stage of the process. Electricity is created as the receding wave draws air back down the column. Here is the example of what you could write. As the water now flows away from the structure, it draws air back down the column and downwards as it through the turbine in the same direction as the previous upward flow of air. The turbine continues to turn, thus generating even more electricity. Let's read it again. As the water now flows away from the structure, it draws air back down the column and downwards to the turbine in the same direction as the previous upward flow of air. The turbine continues to turn this generating at even. So here the four paragraphs brought together and to create the first. Okay, let's read the whole paragraph in a whole answers. The two diagrams illustrate the method of creating electricity from the force of waves using a specifically designed man-made construction. The structure consisting, you see here, what is this? You know? Hmm. You see, so you're, they're getting marked. Illustrate using uh, here. This is what? There's a modifier. You know, reduce creative clause. You're writing, you're showing that you can write complex sentences. Is erected. You might get marked for this one steeply. You see collocation, steeply sloping coastal cliff. You see, it's it's a pretty good writing. You know, the language is natural and sea wall. You know, using the appropriate word subject to the movement of. You know, the way they write, the westerners write and the we write. You know, sometimes not gulf of different, but there's some substantial differences. The first diagram shows how the incoming wall fills a large chamber and forces the air inside the space. Uh, up there and through. Okay, shows how the pressure uh, the pressure of the air rotates the turbine, which you see is a is a relative clause. A data which it has a complex sentence. The process does not end there. For for money can it because for it has been used as a because there because the structure is able to continue producing power as the C research as can be seen in the second diagram. Uh, so what about the third one? It says the water now flows away from the structure as complex center. It draws air back down. It's a back down. Yeah? Read, uh, this is, uh, yeah, it is a nice use of yeah. the column and downwards through the turbine uh, so in the same direction as the previous upward flow of air. The turbine continues to turn, thus generating even more electricity. Okay, so it was 165 words, huh? 165 words. So this is pretty much you can you can you can write in this in this manner. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Hosler oh. Rabbi. Yes, sir. Uh, so, what do you think? So you get some perspective. 
some yes, idea. Sir, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying that okay. it, was, it was very clear, but this is how it works. You know, you okay. get some idea, then you start reading just like the vocabulary. You get my point? Yes, sir. You read that and you then you find that the more you read, what? You know, you want to read. There's no shortcut. There's no shortcut. That's the thing. You know, sometimes what happens, everything is there, but we don't just want to read it. Yeah. It's simply as there. You know, even even if you read, say this is one one website. Say they're good websites. Say there's what Lee's, there's uh, Ice Advantage, there's what's E2. that? Uh, E2. If you compare, if you read five of them, think about this is what this is a this this is what uh, this is a, a standard. This is a, this is a process yeah. diagram. If you read five of these, then you become clear, quite clear. Yes, you know, you don't have to go further. Then what you need to do, you need to collect some what? Some samples. You know, nine or 10 or 12 or 15 samples. There, that we can help you. Eventually, you know, so we'll be giving you, you know, those who want it, we will give you. Then what you should keep on practicing. And if you want to give exam, give the exam. If I, if I give you 150 of these, if you keep on reading, you know, because there's no, what, there's no, um, repetition, so you're not going to get one of these again in the IELTS exam, but what the structure is the same. So it's about getting right, getting right every time. You keep on, you have to, and after these days, what happens, you can spend two hours in YouTube and in Facebook, no problem. But if I ask you to spend 40 minutes in finding out what they're talking about, process diagram, very unlikely. You know, this is life, you know, so you'll have to, you'll have to make sure that, you know, you know what you're doing. And just think about here. If you think about Jackie, it doesn't have to be Jackie. There's so many. Think about, say, what you need. Everything is there. Academic test yeah. writing, general test, eyes, you know, academic task one, understanding task one, how to plan an essay, you know, vocabulary for task one, grammar for task one. You will ask for vocabulary. Say, you will say, where are you get the vocabulary? Everything is there. In most of the websites, they have it. But there is also a problem. They have so many things, so many links. You start somewhere and you keep on, keep on reading, reading. reading. That's also another problem. To some point, okay. you get lost. I mean, you get uh, lost. Okay, problem. that's also a problem. So sometimes it's better to have a note, one note. Think about, say, say think about maps. To think about let's see whether it's a good one say this is a map process diagram they have compared analyzing question the same thing identify the main features it's the same thing northwest what kind of vocabulary you're going to use how you're going to compare you know they they are giving you some samples this one write the introduction everything is there and probably we don't even follow these but i think you know you should you should because um, other than that, what happens sometimes it's difficult for them to distinguish between people, students who are getting good mark and who are getting less mark. And you must understand. Other than that, you keep on writing something that doesn't end up. Okay. So they also have video. You know, they think they they, they also have video. If you if you don't like to, Hello, I'm Jackie from uh, if you if you don't want to read it. Okay, so this is map. Yeah, you see? So almost everything is there. The okay, the same thing. If you think you are tired, you are lazy, uh, just, just go for that. I'm not saying that uh, I'm, I'm not saying that you it has to be Jackie Isles. It could be anything. But keep on reading.